Good morning, this is gonna be a super fast video. Um, I'm gonna talk while I'm cooking. So several people, you know, sometimes people love fueling, sometimes they don't, and the oatmeal is one of the ones that people love or they hate. So, uh, sorry, I just got out of the shower, so I'm looking a little frazzled. But today I'm gonna do a little quick breakfast with the old-fashioned maple and brown sugar oatmeal and show you how to make it into a, an, a waffle. Uh, actually, I actually have never done this before, so I'm totally guessing. So if you're seeing this, it worked. If you don't see this, well, you won't see this, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, we've got the oatmeal here. It calls for two-thirds cups of water. I'm gonna start with half of that, because when you waffle stuff, it's nice if it's a little bit thicker. So um, we'll see how that goes. And then I also used one egg white. So I'm separating my one egg right there. Perfect. You can't see it, but it's there. One egg white goes in there. It kind of helps hold it together as a waffle. I'm gonna whisk it together. You might see my little waffle maker over here. Many of you already know this waffle maker very, very well. And you can get them at Bed Bath & Beyond or whatever, it just makes it fun. And so yeah, this is what we're doing this morning. Also, I have to run out the door to spin class. So sometimes pre-prepping a fueling that goes in more of a solid form, like obviously I'm not gonna eat oatmeal in the car. But if I turn it into two waffles, uh, maybe we could do that. So uh, this actually is turning out a little bit like the consistency of a pancake batter. So this might actually work. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We've got a uh, nonstick cooking spray, always important for your waffle maker. And we're gonna pour just enough in there. I preheated it, by the way, so we wouldn't waste any time because I don't have a lot of time today. And that's it, we're gonna close it. It's gonna sit there for, oh shoot, maybe I didn't preheat it, well we'll see. We've got, uh, let me put a minute and a half on the clock. So I'm back. So what do you think so far? Have you waffled anything? I've gotta kill a minute and a half here, so let's just talk about this. First of all, are you slaying it on program and having a blast? I hope so. You know, I don't totally support these, uh, fueling hacks. You can find them online. They exist for a ton of different things. But this program was intended to be super simple and not need to be hacked per se. But since some people don't love the oatmeal as is, I'm just giving you an option. I mean, as you know, you don't have to put the oatmeal back in your cart next time. But if you've got a box of them sitting on your shelf, this might actually solve the problem. Oh, and there is another um, oatmeal hack. I can't believe I'm teaching you this stuff but it's uh, oatmeal muffins, and you can use the little mini muffin makers. They look something like, I think I have one. Oh, here it is. I feel like Julia Childs. Little mini muffin makers, if you wanna turn the oatmeal into muffins, and then you can put them in a little Ziploc bag and take them with you wherever you go, so that's an option. Do you like how my air conditioning is blow drying my hair right now? It's pretty funny. I'm really just trying to kill time because we still have 20 more seconds. So, all I gotta say, let's check this out. It's steaming, it looks pretty good. Like I said, if you don't see this video, you know that it didn't work. Should I look? I'm nervous. I've got a little plastic fork to get my waffle stuff out. Um, get ready. Oh, we need a plate. Here comes the plate. Here comes the waffle. Are you kidding me? Perfect waffle. Better than Ego. Ooh, hot. There you go. I'm gonna say that that would be a perfect oatmeal waffle. One third cup of water, one egg white, mix it up. I'm gonna make another waffle right now, but in the meantime, I gotta let you go. I'll post this. Hope you like it.